Good evening everybody, it's Joe Perola and I am in Madeira, Portugal. You know that feeling sometimes where you just fancy a steak, you just have to have it. I have had that feeling and I have been craving it all day. So I have come to a restaurant called a Vaca Negra, which means black cow. Now it is famous in Madeira for doing amazing and humongous steaks. The restaurant is just outside of Funchal in near the area called Lido. The menu is not massive, just a few cuts of steaks. However, all of them are fresh. They're cooked over wood on the grill and you can literally stand there watching them cook it. When meat is cooked over flames, you cannot beat the flavor. As I mentioned, they have a choice of cuts here. Not a huge amount, but everything you need for a great steak night. Let me do my best at showing you what they have. Okay, so right here you have the T-bone, then the cutlet, the rump steak, which they call a picanha over here. You have the sirloin, and then what I ordered, which was the ribeye, and then finally the fillet. Okay guys, I've ordered a ribeye steak, medium rare, but they also do some starters. Uh, you can have a grilled chorizo, you can have the bottle de caco, which is the local stone-baked bread here with garlic butter. But actually they also do empanadas and they have them with all different fillings. I ordered spicy beef and chicken and cheese, so I'm really looking forward to trying them. So for what they are, the prices are actually super reasonable. The steaks are massive and they're just normal prices compared to what I would pay in London. Very much. Which one is which? This one is the chicken. With okay. The, uh, with the cheese, not the spicy. Excellent. Thank you so much. First up, the empanadas. Two of them. This half moon shaped one is the chicken and cheese, and the uh, almost pasty, British pasty shaped one is the spicy beef. I think I'm going to start with the chicken and cheese. It looks so good, and you can just feel that pastry. It's homemade pastry, they were telling me. The guy is from Argentina, and he makes it in the traditional way. Let's break it open. Look at that oozing cheese coming out of it. I don't think this is a traditional style empanada, but my God, how good does this look? You can just tell it's absolutely molten kind of scared to put it in my mouth, but here we go. Mm. Oh wow. I didn't expect the cheese to be as flavorful as that. You can taste the chicken, but immediately you get the creamy cheese. And this one is spicy too. I mean, I love spice, but he didn't tell me this one was spicy. So there's definitely some chili in there. The filling is great, but the pastry is spectacular. Flaky and crisp on the outside, but soft and gooey where it's touched the filling. You've got to be careful though. It is molten. <laughs> My mouth is on fire. Delicious. Okay, a sip of wine and then the spicy beef. Let's break this one open. It looked like a Cornish pastry in shape and the inside also looks like a Cornish pastry, but I know it's gonna taste nothing like a Cornish pastry. I can see the flecks of red spicy chili in there. And actually, I love chili, but spicy food is so difficult to find in Madeira. There just isn't much spicy food at all, and <laughs> whenever there is some spicy food, and they say it's super, super hot, it never really carries as much spice as what you expect. I think the tolerance is very low here, so hopefully this lives up to its name. Mm. Again, the pastry is delicious. Rich, meaty beef. 
and yeah, you get that chili hit. They're very, very different, those two empanadas, and I can't really split them. One is so comforting and so creamy and so gooey with that cheese, but this one, the spicy beef, more traditional. If the steak is filling a craving, then those empanadas are definitely the comforting hug. As I said, everything is cooked over wood. The embers cooking those steaks to perfection. First, I guess a slice of chorizo. The chorizo? Yeah, yeah. Asparagus roasted on the grill. And here comes the steak. Ah, and the blood sausage. Thank you very much. Look what has just arrived at the table. It looks incredible. I was watching him make it and I was just salivating, waiting for it to come to my plate. I've got a massive ribeye steak, medium rare, a grilled asparagus, two slices of blood sausage, which I love, and a slice of grilled tree. So they bring you sauces, you've got spicy sauce, a like a herby mayonnaise, and then the chimichurri which is uh, herby, lemon, garlic sauce, which goes amazingly well with steak. All of the steaks come with the sides too, so uh, the price you see on the menu is for the steak and then the sides. You get a choice of fries or baked potato. I've ordered fries for 23 euros. I think it's a fantastic deal and I cannot wait to eat it. Right, first things first, cutting into that steak. First up, I'm actually going to try the blood sausage because I have not had it in so long and it is one of my favourite things to eat. Mm. Smoky from the grill, a bit of rich. I mean, blood sausage is rich, it doesn't taste irony or bloody. There's generally quite a lot of spice in there, um, a lot of seasoning. Just a very meaty, coarse sausage in this case. It's delicious. Okay, next up I have to try the steak. First, without any of the sauces. Just have to taste the flavour of the meat. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. You hardly need to chew. And with each bite, the juices just burst into your mouth. Super meaty flavour. Again, smoky from the grill. That is awesome steak and just what I needed. Perfect with a glass of red wine. You could just tell they were going to be juicy steaks because you could see the fat marbled through the meat as it just grills gently over those coals. That fat just melts into the meat and keeps it so juicy. And as I always say, fat is flavour. Never cut the fat off your meat. Mm. It is so good. It's one of the best steaks I've had in a long time. Right, I think it's time to try these sauces. Let's start with the spicy. You can see the chili in there and the herbs. Mm. And you can smell the garlic. Smother that on the meat. Okay, with the spicy sauce. Mm. That works so well. <clears throat> Parsley, garlic, raw garlic, and the chili, which gives a kick at the end. That's a good one, it's going to take some beating. I think next up we'll try the herby mayo. That's more what I'm used to with the steak. Creamy sauce. <clears throat> it's rich, it's buttery. That one's the best so far. Last up in tasting the trio of sauces is the chimichurri. It's actually a sauce that comes from South America. It's traditional with meat over there, so I'm expecting good things. Here we go. That one's definitely the freshest. You get the zinginess of the lemon. And then the, I guess the combination of the oregano and the, the fresh parsley. It just lifts the meat up and gives it 
a flavour profile which the others don't but I still think the middle creamy mayonnaise buttery sauce is my favourite but all of them are awesome and it's just what you fancy. Let's try one of the fries, the homemade and I love them here because they put fresh oregano on all of the fries here and it just gives them that added boost of flavour. Skin on, crispy, tasty olive oil. It's a good fry. Time for the chorizo. Mm. Wow. That's a powerful piece of flavour. You don't get the smokiness on this one. Maybe from the smoky paprika. I don't think from the grill, but... Wow, the strength of that. Now I wish I did order the whole chorizo for the starter. I'm half down and halfway to go. And it's still a massive piece of steak on my plate. But because it's so tender, it is so easy to eat. It's not a struggle at all. And if you come as a group of two or more, they do do some mega steaks. They have a huge tomahawk steak and a mega T-bone. So if you come as a pair or you come as a bigger group, I think that's definitely a consideration and you should definitely be ordering one of those two. I've kind of been saving this bite. It's the treat near the end of the steak. The fatty cow on the outside. As I said, for me, fat is the flavour and I know it's bad, but it's one of my favourite bits. So I'm hoping this is the this is the treat that was worth waiting for. There was so much flavour and I never understand it when people cut it off. It's the best bit on the steak. I'm down to the final bites. I'm starting to feel it a little bit. I will finish the steak. That's right, I will finish the steak. The last bite of a wonderful meal and the most amazing steak. You have to come here when you're in Madeira. Oh my, oh my, I am stuffed. Seemingly as ever in these videos, I have overindulged again, but I think it's worth it. It was a fantastic meal. That steak, oh, the quality, the juiciness, the flavor, the size of that steak. It was awesome and exactly what I was craving all day but let's not forget those empanadas those empanadas were also amazing uh, especially the cheese one the more i think about it the more although not traditional the more i love that cheesy molten center of that empanada so yeah if you are wanting to have a steak on your trip to madeira definitely visit la veca negra uh, without doubt the best steak on the island um, but it does get busy I got in there early without a booking and I was super lucky because I was just sat on my own but you're gonna have to reserve if you want to get in there but it is great value that whole meal just cost me 30 euros uh, well it was actually under 30 euros for a steak that size and of that quality fantastic value but really and I mean this and it's just happening again and again and again in Madeira the people inside the waiters they're so nice they're so helpful and they're so friendly they make you feel at home not just like you're eating out at their restaurant but like you're eating in their home and it just makes the meal so much more special when that happens as ever thank you for watching uh, please if you'd be kind enough to subscribe I would love that like this video let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and I'll see you next time have a great evening